Do you remember those days when your computer crashed or your simple lose files with no way how to get them back? How painful it felt, how you feel so angry and sad and don't know what to do, how to get back those files. And you felt like your entire world kept crumbling down, left you in a state of sadness for the entire day, the entire week, and even left you in a state of sadness for days. Guys, I'm telling you, those days are over because today we have a new superhero in town, the Aomi Bakupper, that is literally a game changer with how we store our data. From now on, you will no longer lose your data if you follow these best practices utilized with the Aomi Bakupper. This tool allows you to do everything. You will no longer lose data. You can back up everything. You can clone everything. You can restore everything utilizing this tool. Now guys, on my screen here, you see the Aomi Backupper tool, right? You see the Aomi website here. And if you go on the products, you can find the Aomi Backupper. This website, they have quite a lot of different tools that you can utilize, but I want to focus here on the game changer here, which is the Aomi Backupper. Computer data backup sync and clone software, which can be used on all versions of Windows, as you can see here. So you can easily get the free version. I'm gonna go over to the product section of this web page here and just give you a quick overview of what this tool entails. As you can see, free Windows backup and synchronization software here. That is an easy, efficient, and free backup and restore software, right? It is as easy as that. You back up everything, you save everything, and you can restore everything. And you can have full confidence within this tool. I'm telling you guys, it's simple amazing. As you can see here, I'm gonna scroll down. You have quite a lot of tools. It's simple amazing to see how one tool of so much features that you can utilize. This is a well thought out tool that geared towards users on Windows that you can simply back up and store every single thing. They have put some really good thought into developing this product here. And as you can see here on the backups, you have quite a lot as well. You have system backup, disk backup, you have partition backup, file backup, everything you can think of guys, you can find it here. Email backup, Microsoft Outlook backup, you have backup cleanup, you also have the section for restore as well. So you can find quite a lot of restore option as well. System restore, file restore, partition and disk restore guys. You have sync as well that you can do some basic automatic sync as well. And you also have the advanced sync here and you also have cloning and a bunch of other free tools that you can utilize. What I really like is the cloning feature as well that you can even do a system clone, which means that you can even clone the system of your Windows. And I know there are a lot of you guys who are utilizing, for example, VirtualBox or this virtual machine. You can create a clone of your system in Windows and just use that disk to upload to add to your VirtualBox or your virtual machine and run your Windows directly. How amazing is that? You don't have to go ahead and download Windows anymore to get a copy of Windows so that you can test it. You can simply use this tool to clone your Windows of all your software, all your tools ready made in that clone and you can use it right within your virtual machine. So I'm gonna simply go ahead and show you guys. So here you have three options. You have the standard edition, which is free. You have a professional and you have a workstation edition, right? But you have quite a lot within the free option here that you can go ahead and test it right out of the box and get quite a lot of value using this tool here. So you can see all that you get here for the free option. I got myself the pro version here, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna show you how to download and install this tool and show you how to set up and use this tool. So anywhere within the website, you find download icon. You can simply go ahead and click the download. As you can see, it's here. It's also on the uppermost right hand side at the top. Wherever you can find the download icon, go ahead and hurry and download that. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it right now, and I'm gonna show you how to install and show you how to set up this Aomi Backupper. All right, guys, so once you finish download the AOMI Backupper, you can find the download application here within your downloads forever, wherever you have set. It requires your administrative access. So once you double click and try to run it, you will get the prompt to get permissions to administrator here so that you can install it. So simple click and install from there. From here, you will know how the first thing that it will say pro or standard. You can go ahead and choose the 
Standard one, if you don't have a license, you can simply go ahead and click skip here and go ahead and make sure term of agreement is checked and simply click and install. Now it will take a moment to install it for you very fast here, guys. So you just need to hang on about 30 seconds and it will be installed on your computer. Now, once it is done, guys, you will see that it triggers your, a pop-up within your browser that says installation is successful. And of course, you will see what you have here and the plan, you know, whichever plan that you have, you'll get the idea which version you're currently using, right? So you can close out of that and then you can simply go ahead and click enjoy now and it will open up the AOMI Backupper tool. Now, once you're inside the plugin, guys, what's going to happen is that you will be greeted within the home page here with the AOMI Backupper, which shows you a bunch of options here and you have a lot of options here on the left hand side that you can click on. On the upper right hand side, you have like a notification bar. You also have the profile as well that you can click on. Now, if you have a license, what's going to happen is that you will be able to click upgrade license and you'll be able to add your license key right here. So once you click on that, you'll add your license key. And from there, you will also be able to enter that and you will have your license like that. On top of that, you will also have the option here that you can easily log in, create an account. You will have to just simply enter your email address, receive a verification code to your email, enter that, and you'll have a profile like myself here. And this is how you can easily go ahead and check it. So you can click the drop down here beside your email afterwards and you can find information about your account that you can find here, right? So very easy stuff here, guys. Now, once you're inside the AOMI Backup, as I mentioned here, you have the basic options here from the first home screen, which is the new backup and the sync system, right? So you can easily go ahead and click new sync or backup. Now, what this does is basically it gives you option to the backup and the sync tab. So if you click on that, it jumps to the second tab. If you go back to the home and you click sync, it jumps to this tab as well. Now under the backup tab here, guys, as you can see, as I give you a brief overview from the website, you have the system backup, this backup, file backup, Outlook backup, email backup, cloud, and so much more. And we'll go ahead and show you, for example, how it works. So, and I'll be going ahead and show you, for example, how to use one of these backups, right? So under the sync section, you have basic sync, as I mentioned. So you have the basic sync, real-time sync, you have two-way sync, you have mirror sync. So very interesting stuff there. And restore, you get it once you have whatever file your or system or folders you back up, you can always go ahead and select the image from here to restore it. Clone as well, you have the clone as I mentioned, you can use a system clone here. You can do a disk clone and partition clone. And tools, you have a wide range of different tools that you can utilize to create a bootable media, to explore image, to recover environment, to disk wipe, you can do check image, you can do view logs, you can do so much more guys. So quite a lot of you scroll down here as well, you have a few backup tools that you can utilize further down you also have a few more tools that you can utilize my recovery desktop remote desktop if you click on that it will trigger you to install any viewer that you can utilize as well so you have all the necessary tools that you will need for your windows and these are essential tools that's the most important thing these are essential tools that users do not know new users that not all users of windows know that they should have at their disposal so this is something that is very interesting to know that these are essential tools that you need so i really recommend that you check out this tool and most importantly you want to have this on your pc that you can back up and save your data so that you'll never lose anything ever again. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to quickly show you how to use, for example, a backup. So let's say you want to backup a particular file. You can go to backup and I'm going to do a file backup. So you can select the file backup and you can choose a folder or you can choose a file, right? I'm going to do a file and I'm going to simply find, for example, a picture. Now, this picture here, it's a picture of me. I'm going to find it and show you what it looks like. So let me move over to my downloads here and go to my downloads folder and this is a picture of me in a university back then right so let's say i want to keep this on my computer guys and i don't want to lose it i don't want to lose anything so all i will do i'm going to simply back up this first so i just need to select the file then click and open guys so once you select the file, then you need to choose the part where you want to save this or back up this. Now you can do this a few ways. You can select a local part on your computer. It's okay to do it and I will use that part for now, but I'm strongly recommending that if you're backing up files or photos 
on your computer it doesn't really make too much sense to back it up on the particular computer because it's there right so you want to back it up on like a hard drive or a disk drive or whatever it might be or even in the cloud you can do it so you want to select for example you can add a shear or nas device or you can select a cloud or you can simply go to your c drive and once you go to your c drive you can select so if you select a part for example you can go to this pc and you can select a particular disk if you have a usb stick or something you can add it there and you can select that as the image but i'm going to select just a random part for example so let's say i'm going to back up this on my desktop but as i said this is only as an example you want to back it up to external devices or the cloud so that you know that it is safe there that if something happened to your pc you can always get this back right so that's the purpose of really backing up stuff so that you can get it if something goes down and your computer is not available anymore and your computer crash or whatever it might be you can get your files back important files that you need you can get them back i'm going to go ahead and select desktop as an example and simply go ahead and click and open and as you can see here the path is now shown to my desktop and all i have to do is just simply click and start backup and it'll take a moment or two to create the backup and as you can see in my desktop here and the upper left hand side that there is a file that is creating so this is my file backup and it's creating the file there so as you can see it's very fast it's about 100 percent already and i can just simply click and finish now once i click and finish you can see under home that it have a new backup file there as well so this is where you can easily find those backups once you make them within the tool so here you can see that now the home actually changes from those two parts and now start to show your files right that your, your backup files now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and delete my picture here so click on that picture and i'm going to do a shift delete and as you can see it says permanently delete so i'm going to simply click on yes and i delete my picture from 2015 with of me with me in university oh my god so what i'm going to do now i trust in aoma backover that it will bring back my only photo that I have of me in university. So all I have to do guys, just simply go ahead, open up the Aomi backupper, and once it's open, you can find that backup that you made. And there's a three lines towards the right hand side of that backup. It's like a burger menu. You can click on that, you get many options here, right? So you have some advanced options, you have some shortcut delete. Of course, you want to have, you can edit the backup, you can schedule backup if you want to do that as well. And you can click restore backup. Now, once you click on restore backup, it gives you like the file directory. So you can simply expand, you can do the entire restore, or you can simply expand all the way until you find that particular file so if you have multiple files that you back up you can select individual files to restore if you just want individual files so if i back up an entire folder with lots of files and i just want to restore one or two files from it you can simply expand these folders find a particular file check that particular file and then you simply go ahead and click on next so once i click on next guys you have two options here you can restore to the original location or you can restore to a new location so for the purpose i'm going to leave it on the original location in my downloads there and simply click start restore and within seconds guys there you have it within seconds it has now finished and i can click on finish here and if i go back to my downloads folder you can see now under my download folders that i have my picture again and there you have it guys this is just a simple example of how you can use the iomi backupper to to back up and restore files that you have and as you can see there is quite a lot of different backup options that you have this backup as i mentioned there's so many you get the idea and you can utilize this to do so much i really hope that you found this video useful guys and if you do go ahead give this video a like let me know in the comments below if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer them and on top of that guys go ahead and try this aomi backup or it's absolutely free to start you can download the standard free version here and you can start utilizing this and if you so desire want to upgrade you have those options there that you can simply go ahead and invest into a professional version if you so desire it's absolutely worth it and as you can see i have the professional version for myself here so it simply has to be worth it i'm not testing a trial version and showing you and telling you that it's worth it i'm showing you the proof here that i have the professional version because this is something that it's worth it it's necessary and you simply have to have this essential tool 
on your Windows PC. So guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. And guys, if you're seeing the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of this growing community where I teach you how to use quite a lot and how to do quite a lot within this channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.